What's going on guys, it's Rated here, welcome back to the channel, today I have you guys a brand new video and what this is going to be going over is what happens when you get every single division class max prestige within Call of Duty World War 2. I've been grinding trying to get max prestige on all of the division classes and I have to say it's actually been kind of fun because I get to test all of the perks and see what one is the best in this game and I'm going to be going over that in this video and also showing you guys what you get for unlocking all of the divisions to max prestige. Now of course if you do enjoy the video a like is always great appreciated and of course if you haven't subscribed to the channel already make sure you guys go ahead and do so so you don't miss a future upload on the channel if you're already subscribed definitely turn on that notification bell and with that said let's begin with today's video so like I did say, I've been grinding to get all of these divisions, max prestige, and it has taken me quite a while. I'm currently uh, 6 prestige right now, which is kind of insane considering the game's only been out like maybe a week and a half. So yeah, I've been grinding, I've been trying to get max prestige and also get all these divisions max prestige. And in the process, I've managed to do the divisions before I actually get max prestige, which is of course a benefit for you guys who actually can't get a high enough rank. And you guys want to go ahead and unlock all of these divisions. So as you can see, I'm going to be showing them on screen right now that they are all max prestige and of course this was a way how I did rank up fast because I did manage to go ahead and actually get a ton of XP from that. Now what you don't get from getting all these divisions max prestige is a helmet. I was hoping that you would get like maybe a golden helmet in this game once you get max prestige because we had seen in Black Ops 3 once you do all of the challenges for all the specialists, you actually got unlocked hero gear. And I was one of the first people to do that as I uploaded here on the channel. So I thought to myself, I'm going to try it with this game, but this time it's with divisions. Unfortunately, I didn't get any rare gear set or anything like that. You do get a little suit for each division, but it's nothing too special. The ones that you get out of supply drops are much better. Now, hopefully they do change it and add something like that into the game. If you guys didn't already know, you have to prestige all of the divisions at least once to get the V2 rocket in this game so that was kind of a part of it i thought maybe they'll give us something better once you get them all to max prestige but unfortunately there has been nothing shown to us at this moment now i will keep you guys updated if i manage to find something out in this game or, or for some reason if they add a hot fix and something gets added then i will update you here on the channel so make sure you guys stick around for that and i'm also going to be posting a ton more videos regarding divisions and the best ways to rank up now as you guys can see i'm scrolling through all of the weapons you actually get a weapon variant for every single division class once you get it to max prestige now that is kind of cool i guess for you guys who can't be asked unlocking them through supply drops or even going ahead and doing it through the armory and getting your weapons that way by unlocking them through armory credits i did post a video yesterday how to get quite a few armory credits if you guys want to go ahead and unlock yourself a weapon go ahead and check that video out i will display it at the end of this video but like i did say you get one epic variant for each division class now i'm going to go ahead and show you the weapons that you do get from prestige in the divisions all of the way and as you can see the first one is from infantry and the variant that you're going to be getting here is called the cook now for some odd reason, the variant names are named completely different from when you actually go ahead and prestige. So this variant will be named something completely different, but when you go ahead and actually prestige it, you will get that variant. So make sure you guys go ahead and keep an eye out on that because it is a weird glitch and Michael Condry still hasn't fixed it as I was stuck on it for quite a while and I wasn't sure where my weapon was. But you do get an epic weapon which gives you 10% bonus. We all know heroic weapons are the better variants within this game, but of course this is another way to get a free weapon variant as well, which is pretty Pretty cool i guess so as you can see i'm moving on to uh, the airborne division right now and you get an mp40 which is called the son of mars and it was actually named the doremi but that was a different weapon for some reason like i did say there's some weird bug in this game where it shows a different weapon rather than a weapon you get so as you can see the camos look absolute ass on all of these weapons they look trash and i and that really does suck that we couldn't get a heroic weapon instead of an epic variant. Now, all of these variants that you do unlock, there is going to be heroic variants of it, but you can only unlock them through supply drops, which does suck. But now moving on to the armor division, you get the MG42. Now, you actually get the buzz saw, which is kind of a cool variant, I guess. But it doesn't match to the heroic weapons that I have already for these classes and divisions. So unless you guys don't already have any heroic weapons or any epic weapons... 
definitely go ahead and grind for max prestige because for example on the airborne division I managed to get myself an epic MP40 variant which gave me 10% extra XP and I did kind of enjoy using the weapon while I could because I was actually trying to get diamond camo. I've already got diamond camo for my snipers at this moment but of course I'm grinding to get that secret camo. But as you can see for the mountain division you do get the Car 98k variant called the Fallen. It looks pretty cool but of course camos do look awesome it and it really does suck that they don't fix this because after grinding all that much you just getting a pretty you're just pretty much just getting a weapon that's going to give you 10 percent extra xp but make your camo look like shit and it really does suck the only way that camos look good in this game is on heroic variants now i will have a video showcasing heroic variants in this game every single gun in diamond on heroic weapons which is a pretty cool thing to look at considering you take a look at epic weapons and they look trash and, but then you swap it for a gun that has a heroic variant and it looks 10 times better and then for the final one on expeditionary class you actually get a sawn off shotgun now we all know the sawn off shotgun is a trash weapon i guess the variant's cool but like i did say the camos look crap on it Unfortunately, you didn't get any extra XP for unlocking all of these and you didn't get any emotes, which does suck, but I guess that's what we have to deal with at this moment. The game has been on and off really. In my opinion, the game is a great game to play, as you guys can probably tell by the level I am, but the bugs and issues that are in this game at the moment do not compare to what we had seen in previous Call of Duties where previous Call of Duty titles, they didn't really have an issue. Maybe the servers, that's acceptable. But all of these issues in game really are not acceptable within Call of Duty World War 2. Especially with all this double XP thing that's been happening. Apparently double XP was active since launch, which I do not believe one bit. I just simply believe that what Sledgehammer Games have gone ahead and done is actually cut the XP in half considering they've seen us ranking up so fast. So what they did so what they did, they enabled a double XP weekend pretending that it was already double XP. So therefore, we didn't get any extra XP. Come Tuesday, which is today, the XP has been cut in half. So we're only getting half the XP that we used to get So it does suck. Hopefully, they do come to an agreement with the player base. Because I do know that not everybody can grind to level 1,000 in this game. As there are 1,000 levels and getting this amount of XP a game is insane to be honest it's going to take you so long and everybody who goes to work and has school and that and tries to rank up to get this max prestige it's going to be a hell of a grind and i'm pretty sure most people are going to give up after a while now hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i know it's been kind of a long video but i definitely wanted to inform you guys what happens when you get every single division max prestige in call of duty world war 2 as you guys were curious what happened when you prestige them in the last video the last video did insane in views and feedback so hopefully it does the same in this video and hopefully you guys did enjoy it like i did say if you want to go ahead and tweet michael condry or even sledgehammer games and tell them to add something special for prestige in all of your divisions go ahead and do so uh but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video definitely slap a like on it check out my previous videos on the end of the screen hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll catch you guys in the next one peace